In this video, we look at a simplified summary of the story of Sullivan's Lost Cash by Lee Chandler, which appeared in the April 1988 issue of the magazine Treasure. Pat O'Sullivan was a towering figure, his robust frame seemingly impervious to fatigue. Day after day, he toiled relentlessly, consumed by a singular and fervent ambition to amass a fortune of $30,000 through the pursuit of gold mining. Only then would he return to the place he called home. Through countless fruitless quests, Pat sought a claim that would yield the coveted wealth he sought, fueled by an unyielding work ethic. Eventually, his path led him to Sawmill Flat, nestled along a tributary of Woods Creek in the picturesque realm of Tuolumne County, California. It was here, in Sawmill Flat, that the elusive treasure of placer gold lay in abundance. Pat's aspiration stood a fighting chance of realization, and he wasted no time in securing a lucrative claim. With unwavering dedication, he toiled ceaselessly, amassing his wealth bit by painstaking bit, each day bringing him closer to the life of opulence he envisioned. Unlike his fellow miners who succumbed to the allure of extravagant indulgences in the nearby town of Sonora, Pat remained resolute in his frugality. He stoically endured meager rations, directing all his energies toward the gradual expansion of his treasure trove. His thoughts fixated on the bountiful future that awaited him, his eyes steadfastly fixed on the horizon rather than the fleeting comforts of the present moment. In the realm of unwavering determination, Pat O'Sullivan toiled tirelessly day after day, his dreams slowly morphing into tangible reality. The weight of his golden hoard grew steadily, mirroring the toll his efforts exacted on his own fragile health. But finally, the moment arrived. His pursuit had paid off, his gold amassed a fortune of $30,000. The time had come for his dreams to be realized, for him to bask in the sweet rewards of his labor. With resolve, Pat decided that the following day would mark the end of his sojourn in this haven of opportunity. He would gather his belongings, his precious treasure, and depart from the land adorned with majestic pine trees. Exhausted, he sank into his bedroll, seeking solace in well-deserved rest. Yet, as the sun painted the sky with its golden hues the next morn, Pat's body was beset by an agonizing affliction. Weakness coursed through his veins, rendering him incapable of carrying the weight of his belongings and the precious hoard of gold nuggets and dust. He knew he had no choice but to seek the aid of the doctor in Sonora, a treacherous journey of four to five miles from his humble camp. Amidst the splendor of his temporary abode, two towering pine trees stood, their branches intertwining like old friends. Pat had observed that at a particular hour each morning, the shadows cast by these arboreal sentinels converged. It was at this sacred spot that he resolved to bury his cache of gold, accounting for the subtle shifts in location brought about by the changing seasons and the sun's dance across the sky. As uncertainty shrouded his recovery and the time needed to regain his strength, Pat entrusted his treasure to the earth, hopeful that fate would reunite him with his bounty once more. With every ounce of strength he had left in his frail body, Pat O'Sullivan dug a deep hole where the shadows of the pine trees intertwined, burying his precious hoard of gold. Exhausted but determined, he embarked on a grueling journey to Sonora, desperate for the medical attention he so desperately needed. At times, his weakness was so overwhelming that he resorted to crawling on his hands and knees, inching forward with sheer willpower. Eventually, fate smiled upon him as friends discovered him and aided him on his way. After months of rest and treatment, Pat was finally ready to return to his camp, the place where his hard-earned fortune awaited him. With bated breath, he journeyed back, covering the four- to five-mile distance, eagerly anticipating the sight of the two pine trees that would reveal the exact spot where his treasure lay hidden, bathed in the morning sun's gentle glow. But alas, Pat had committed a grave oversight. His satisfaction with his clever method of locating the precious gold had blinded him to the importance of memorizing additional permanent landmarks. Fate had a cruel twist in store for him during his lengthy recovery in Sonora. The diligent loggers from the renowned mill that bestowed Sawmill Flat with its name had mercilessly cleared the entire area of its majestic trees. In their wake, only barren stumps stood, 
offering no solace or hint to aid Pat in rediscovering the coveted spot. His tireless search proved futile, for the elusive location remained forever lost. However, a mere stone's throw away from Sawmill Flat lay a place known as Yankee Hill, nestled near Columbia in the enchanting Tuolumne County of California. It might be wise to embark on a quest of research or engage in random detecting in this vicinity, for within its depths lies a tale shrouded in vagueness, yet brimming with potential truth. If you're interested in purchasing a copy of this vintage magazine for yourself or as a gift for a friend or loved one, please click the link in the description.